honestly when I'm having a seizure I don't I don't know I don't really remember from people that have seen them and been there with me they I could be like mid-sentence and then just kind of just stop talking and kind of be staring off into into wherever they've seen me collapse and start like full out on the ground so uh, I mean I wake up usually in the back of an ambulance or a hospital somewhere 1.64 million soldiers have served in the current Iraq and Afghanistan conflicts basically uh, while I was over there we were running a mission and uh, on the way back home to base from the mission uh, we got ambushed and uh, I got injured during the ambush. That's what they, that's what they credit it to, I guess. 320,000 of these soldiers, approximately 19%, will experience traumatic brain injury, or TBI. I have traumatic brain injury. It's, that is causing the seizures. And then I have uh, constant migraines every day. And then uh, a little bit of short-term memory loss. PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. The statistics that, that I'm seeing uh, shows that about 34% of uh, uh, combat wounds coming out of uh, Iraq and Afghanistan could significantly result in, in future um, episodes of epilepsy, the seizures. Because of body armor, we're seeing more head wounds than what we had in other wars. Therefore, between 48,000 and 169,000 soldiers serving in Iraq and Afghanistan have or will develop post-traumatic epilepsy. Brain injury is a clear and important cause of epilepsy. If, if we look at history, studies of the consequences of head injuries from World War I up through conflicts in the Middle East during the 1980s, and those are the most recent medical literature reports we have, they show a really consistent pattern in terms of the development of epilepsy. I started, I started having seizures and really didn't, we, we didn't know what it was, honestly. You know, I saw one of the military doctors. He said, oh, it's really bad migraines. And I'm like, well, <laughs> I think I want a second opinion. I, I really haven't seen a lot of, of material and I've been in this veterans business now for 16 years on uh, epilepsy and the potential for seizures resulting in penetrating head wounds. The Epilepsy Foundation is working to get the word out about early detection and diagnosis. Our Connect and Care program which connects veterans and families with the emotional and educational support uh, that they need and, and how, to, how to receive it new diagnosis of anything, it's very alarming, a medical diagnosis. And so the support mechanisms I would want in place is easy access to someone, to something that could reassure patients that there are resources available and that epilepsy is a controllable disease. The Epilepsy Foundation's goal is to provide wide-reaching information and support to all military personnel and their families who have the potential risk of post-traumatic epilepsy. They've helped me as far as getting stuff off my chest, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Kind of to help me deal with other things that are, that are going on, not just the seizure epilepsy part. The, the, the final analysis is to connect our veterans with the care that they need. You know what? It, if it happens to me or, or their families know, hey, you know what? If, if they're going through this and I see them going through this, we have somewhere we can go to get answers and to get help.